name is Marcia Destasso, and my position is I'm an associate professor and department chair in public relations at UF. When we look at the term, the definition, and the concept of fake news, and the way that that term has been used and abused, I think it brings into question whether or not the term means the same thing to each person. So, you know, you could ask 10 different people to define fake news and get 10 different answers. And that makes me question whether or not that's the term we should be using, right? Um, I don't know that I personally have a definition. Um, I can tell you in the research that we did, we looked at how the term was used on Twitter. And we broke it down and did a network analysis looking at how Republicans were using the term and Democrats were using the term. And pretty consistently, both groups were using it to bash each other and discredit what the other has said. So is that the definition of fake news? Or is it news that isn't real? Or what, it, what is it? I, I'm not sure that we have a general consensus on that. I think that it permeates society, right? The clickbait that's out there is everywhere, right? And we all fall into that trap. And when you're tired and you're scrolling through Facebook, it's easy to say, oh, that looks really neat. What is that? And you get in and you're like, this is useless. This isn't what I thought I was going for. Um, so it happens and very um, well-meaning people can share it because they fell for the trap. So I don't think that we're going to be able to avoid it as a consumer of social media and pretty much a person in society and today. I think it comes back to being a critical consumer, right? And thinking about how we're using social media, how we're viewing media online, looking at the, the sources. The kids, my, my daughter's in fifth grade. In fourth grade, they spend a lot of time talking about sources. Right? So starting to really think about where this content came from before we're clicking on it, <laughs> before we're reading it, before we're holding weight in it, and we're, we're making decisions based on it. I talked to someone who was really concerned about a new health outbreak, and she thought for sure that this was happening, and, and she was starting to get this new illness. And people that she knew she was sharing it with, and they were all talking about it. And then they realized that, you know, this big health outbreak, no other media outlet was talking about it. So clearly, this is not truly a new health outbreak. But this was an intelligent woman <laughs> that then spread, helped spread this fake news, well-meaning. But, you know, because she wasn't as critical a consumer of where that news came from, she helped kind of permeate that issue. So I think the more that we can kind of step back and go, okay, wait a minute, <laughs> Let's, what am I looking at? Where did it come from? Are other people talking about it intelligently? If this is a new health outbreak, it's not just going to be one place. Let's make sure before we share it could help kind of combat some of that. I think that it, whenever we can encourage people to step past what's right in front of them and to, to really think about why it's there, how it got there, what it means and what it might not mean is valuable, right? So teaching them, like I said, to be a, a critical consumer of information. So the students, they're starting to get it when I, I teach public relations. So I like to tell the students, you know, think about who put that out there and why did they put that out there and, and who's benefiting from it? An eight and 10 year old can't understand that. But I do think that I've been successful in getting them to say, well, is this real? You know, does, it, does this make sense? Is there some logic here that maybe I should be looking at and thinking about that maybe this isn't actually true? And so I think we're there with them. Maybe not everything, but we're there with a certain amount. My kids are huge Harry Potter fans. And so they read stuff about Harry Potter and they'll say, maybe that's not true. Like there's all this information about the new rides that are coming out at Universal. And they're starting to question whether or not that's actually the new ride. And I love that because they're being that critical consumer of information. Because there's a lot of things that are saying, this is it. And it might not be. 